comic venturers welcome back to another video i'm really excited about this one because it's going to start my new series i'm going to bring to you guys right here going over the biggest keys each year and we're going to start in the 60s and before we start i have a special wow. unboxing we are going to open this box and see what's in it i have a big surprise for you guys and i'm really excited so let's open this box Three, two, one, boom! My brand new Silver Surfer issue number four, 6.0. I am so excited for this book. I sold mine last year, it was a 5.0, and of course the book kind of blew up right after I sold it, and so I've been kind of bummed out about not having it. This is one of my favorite covers of all time, and I'm really excited to have it back in my collection. And that is going there for a while. Daredevil issue number one. 
Uh, Daredevil is actually also my second favorite superhero, and he definitely deserves the 1964 spot because this is his debut appearance in his epic yellow and red costume. Uh, everybody knows the OG Daredevil costume is way far superior than the dark rim red costume. Alright, so in 1965, you have the debut of one of the greatest adversaries in Marvel Comics, the Juggernaut in Uncanny X-Men issue number 12. There are a lot of books that came out this year that you could replace this book with, but I decided to choose this one because the Juggernaut's epic, the cover's great, it's got a lot of red and warm colors, and I do think it is probably one of the biggest underrated Silver Age keys in this decade. Alright, so up next, 1966, this is another tough one. There's kind of two books, but from the same series, Fantastic Four, issue number 48 is my choice, and this is the first appearance of Galactus. So Galactus has a great impact on the Marvel Universe both in comic books and hopefully in the near future pop media and pop culture uh, but also in the same year you had Fantastic Four issue number 52 which is the first appearance of T'Challa the Black Panther and so this one was kind of tough. Uh, in my heart I wanted to go with Fantastic Four issue number 52 because I love T'Challa, I love the Black Panther but Honestly, you have to admit, Galactus has a greater impact, he is a bigger character, and, you know, it is on a more cosmic scale, uh, this character impacting the Marvel Universe, so, 1966, uh, Fantastic Four, issue number 48, takes the spot. In 1967, DC finally decided to show back up with Detective Comics, issue number 359. If you do not know, this is the first appearance of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl. This cover is amazing. I love the purple on the cover. This character is going to uh, shake the DC Universe for decades to come. Alright, two more years to go and these last two are from the same series. So we have Silver Surfer issue number three, which is the first appearance of Mephisto. And I am so tired of hearing about Mephisto and the MCU this year. I wanted to find any other book, but honestly, this book deserves a spot. Uh, the cover is awesome. Silver Surfer is actually having a great run uh, during this series, with starting with issue number one. And this book definitely is a very highly sought after key, especially in the last year with all the speculation going around with Mephisto. Um, definitely look at this one to be one that's going to shake the Marvel Universe, definitely from this point on. And the last spot wrapping up this decade, we have one of the greatest covers of all time, as I said before, Silver Surfer issue number four. So no bias, this was really the book that I found to be the most impactful and the cover that was the most dynamic in the 1960s. And um, I love everything about this book, this cover, this series, it's just great. And it is a perfect end cap to the 1960s decade of Marvel Comics. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video where I'm going to be talking about the biggest keys of the 1970s. Super excited about that one. You guys, stay subscribed. Thank you for liking the video. See you on the next one. Signing off.